Right guys, hello and welcome to this new episode of At Home With Dan. Uh, so in recent episodes you may have seen me make shoe pastry or shoe buns, prefer to rolls. Today I'm going to be making a creme patisserie or as us Brits would call it, a pastry cream. This is the traditional and classic way of filling a profiterole or an eclair or a shoe bun basically. Um, a lot of people these days just go with whipped cream. But, um, so I'm going to show you how to make a creme patisserie today. Um, and it's a lot simpler than you may think as well. So for the creme patisserie, pastry cream, what we need is 500 milliliters of milk. So I've got that in there. I've got 120 grams of caster sugar. I've got six egg yolks. I've got 60 grams of plain flour. And then I've got some of this vanilla paste. You can use a vanilla pod if you so wish and scrape the seeds out. Um, I tend to find vanilla pods quite expensive these days. So I tend to go for a good quality paste, which it just seems better value for money. So the first thing we're going to do is, in our milk, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla paste to that. And that's where we get our flavour from. And this is a base recipe, so I'm adding vanilla. You could add other flavours, you could add coffee, you could add tonka bean, cinnamon, things like that. So I've got the milk, the vanilla, and what I've done with the 120 grams of sugar, I've actually split that into two bowls, so both of 60 grams. One of the 60 grams is going to go in with the milk and the vanilla. And we're going to give that a good little stir. And then we're going to put that on the heat and I want to bring that up to the boil. So that's going on the heat. That's all going to dissolve and it's going to come up to the boil. In the meantime, whilst the milk is on, we're going to take our egg yolks. So we've got six egg yolks here into a bigger bowl. And then the remaining 60 grams of caster sugar goes in with the eggs. And what we're going to do is give that a really good whisk up and we want them to kind of go slightly pale and fluffy. Right guys, so I've been whisking this for two or three minutes now. And I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of almost doubled in volume and it's gone a little bit white. It leaves a little ribbon in the, into the bowl. So that's what we were looking for, that is perfect. What I'm now going to do is the 60 grams of flour, I'm going to add that into the egg and sugar mix. And then we want to give that a really good stir, really good mix in. Like so. So now the flour is added, by now our milk should almost be up to temperature. And with this next part, we just need to be really careful because we're going to be pouring the boiling milk. We don't want to burn ourselves. So take a tea towel if you have one, or oven gloves, whatever you use. So the milk is pretty much coming up to the boil there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of it to begin with. So that was about a third of the milk. And then whisk that in, and that's going to just loosen up the flour and the egg and the sugar mix. The risk you run if you were to pour it all in at the same time is because of the full temperature of the milk, it would maybe shock the eggs and cook the eggs a little bit too fast. So if you just do it a little bit to begin with, it brings the temperature of the eggs up so it doesn't shock them into scrambling. So we've got all our ingredients nicely incorporated together there. Pour them back into our pan. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to go back onto the heat and we're going to cook out that flour. And as the flour cooks out, it's going to thicken up and we're going to get a really nice thick creme patisserie. As you're stirring it, you'll notice that it's thickening as you go. So as the temperature comes up and it gets hotter and hotter, the flour is starting to cook out more, so it becomes really thick. So as it becomes thicker, it almost becomes too thick to actually use a whisk in it. So I'm going to swap the whisk for a spatula. And you can really see now the, cha the change in consistency. Now I'm just going to cook this out for maybe another 25-30 seconds just to ensure that all that flour is cooked out. 
Right guys, so now we've got all the flour cooked out and the creme patisserie is ready. I'm just going to take it off the heat and I'm going to pour it into another bowl. Again, this just stops the cooking process. So we scrape it all out there. And you can see we're left with a really nice thick creme patisserie. And as that cools, that'll actually thicken even more and it becomes a really lovely pipeable consistency you can, so you can pipe it inside of the shoe pastry. Right guys, so I've come back to our creme patisserie. It's, uh, it's been in the fridge now, it's chilled down and it's cool enough to use. Um, so what I've done is I've just given it a really good beat up just to, just to loosen it off a little bit again. And then I've got a piping bag here ready for it. So we're just going to transfer the creme patisserie into the piping bag. Right, so that's it all out there now. Take my bag. And what I'm going to do is just close this bag off, tighten it up, and then I'm just going to pop this in the fridge. So that's the creme patisserie, and it's all done, dusted, ready to do whatever you want with. So you can make some shoe buns, we can make some profiteroles, rolls, we can make some pastry cases, and make some little fruit tartlets. World to your oyster, creme patisserie. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Happy cooking, and I hope you enjoy. Cheers.